and do so. We'll change mod 755 Linux CBT. Now we have relaxed the security and student one should be able to take a look at it. Let's LSLTR home Linux CBT, test RH5, and now we can interact with it. So with that said, we will nano regex test.pl, which currently is set to 600, and you'll see permission denied. Error reading home in the full path to regex test.pl, permission denied. Now how about his root? Let's log out of this session and now we're in as Linux CBT and then SUN and try to interact with the document. So now we're in as root. We'll nano regex test.pl and as you can see we're able to read the document. Let's include a comment towards the bottom. End root. We'll save it. No problems whatsoever. When we cat the contents of regex test.pl, root was able to make changes, although on the surface, the permissions don't seem to indicate that root will be able to make changes to the document. Root always has, or root equivalents, meaning other users of your system with the UID 0 and group ID 0 will be able to make changes to files that other users of your system have created, regardless of permissions associated. So you use change mod to make those sorts of changes, to make files executable, non-executable, read-writable, so on and so forth. We could even lock ourselves out of making changes to the file, meaning the user of XCBT, by making the permissions more restrictive. So let's list as a separate task. Ensure that regex test.pl, and we can do so as root, by the way, instead of the user who's currently logged in, like CBT who owns a file, is read or readable by owner and no one else. Well, if a file is only readable by the owner, that means the owner can't write to the file. So instead of change modding to 600, which is read-write, we know that the read octal value is 4. So 400 regex test.pl followed by an LSL regex test dot pl will do the trick. And again, we can affect this as the user root or as the owner of the file, Linux CBT. Let's change into test rh5, lsltr, and give it a try. Now we see that only the read permission is set to the file. With that said, let's modify it or attempt to modify it using nano. I will create a new entry. It will indicate end Linux CBT and attempt to save the document using control X, Y, file name to write, regex test.pl, notice error writing the file. Now at this point we could optionally save the file as a different file name because we ultimately have control over the directory but we cannot update regex test.pl. So let's try to save it as regex test2.pl and that'll work. But we cannot make changes to regex test.pl which is why the test2 version is 19 bytes larger. Let's go ahead and remove regex test2.pl as it's not necessary and then change the permissions back to 600 on regex test.pl. But before doing so, let's just show you that even though the file currently has 400 permissions, the user root can still make changes. So we'll now, and let's just confirm that the directory is indeed set and the file is set to 400 we mean. So we'll nano regex test.pl, navigate towards the end, and copy and paste end root twice. Save the changes. Notice, no trouble whatsoever. Root's never denied from being able to make changes to files on the system. Now in addition to octal notation, as we've alluded to earlier, change mod supports alpha or string values that represent the permissions that you can enable using octal notation. So note, change mod supports string values which represent octal values. So for example, if you wanted to change the execute bit, you'd change mod and either plus or minus x on the file name. If you wanted to change, let's say, the right bit, then just indicate W instead of X. Ditto for the read bit. So you can modify each of the bits using strings. 
string literals such as RWX, you can influence which user the permissions applies to. For example, by indicating U plus X to add the execute permission. Let's take a look at that and see how it would apply in the regex test.pl case. So we'll change mod U plus X regex test.pl followed by an LSL regex test.pl and now you see the owner after having executed U plus X the owner's permission has been updated to read plus execute. So U plus X updates owner's execute permissions on the file. Similarly, let's go ahead and show you an alternate way to execute this O plus X. Let's show you what would happen when we do this. We're going to set the permission back to 400 and then execute O plus X. So change mod 400 regex test.pl. Now it's back to 400. In fact, we indicated 4000 incorrect permission there. Now it's back to 400. And now let's attempt to change mod instead of U plus X, O plus X. And you'll see that this now applies the execute bit to everyone else or to other, which is what the last three bits represents. So this changes instead of the owner's, others permissions or execute permissions on the file. And again, now if we indicate G plus X, this will update groups or group owners execute permissions on the file. Before doing so, let's return the permissions to 400 and then instead of O plus X, we'll change it using G plus X. And you'll see that now the group users permissions have been updated. Instead of bits 1, 2, and 3, we've got 4, 5, and 6, the 6 bit being updated. So when you want to influence using change mod, changes to the owner, use U. To everyone else, O. To the group owner, G. Or, if you remember the octal notation, use that, and it will work in place of the string notation. And this works for any permission, not just execute. For example, let's reset the permissions to 400, and then instead of simply G plus X, we could say G plus RWX. Now the group owner has read-write execute permissions to the object. If we wanted the true owner to have such permissions, change this to U plus RWX. Or what if we wanted everyone to have these sorts of permissions? Well, A plus RWX. So change mod A plus RWX is equal to change mod 777, which is a dangerous permission to apply, but sometimes is necessary in order to provide all users the ability to read, write, and execute the file. Try to avoid using 700, however, as again, it is too liberal, so we'll set it back to 400. So that's the job of change mod, to change the permissions. And we did mention that you can, from the GUI environment, make these changes. You don't have to rely upon the shell-based environment. Simply navigate to Modulus, Navigate to the directory, in this case testrh5, pops up in a separate window, find the file, here's regex test.pl because it's a Perl script, it's represented by the following icon. Navigate to properties where you'll find the permissions for the object beneath or within the permissions tab and you'll see that the permissions are broken out by groups of owners including the owner, the group owner, and everyone else. Since it's set to 400, the owner's permissions are set to, set to simply read only as opposed to read and write. Group owners Linux like CBT and it's set to none. Others are set to none, but you can change that. And an SE Linux context is set to file underscore T. And execute permissions aren't set, but if you want you can allow it to be executed, which updates the permission set if you select it, if you change it. So you can change permissions. For example, let's go ahead and set this to read and write, read and write, and read and write for everyone, and allow execute permissions. Now we've made changes, and from the shell, let's just move this over so it's within view. When we re-execute our LSL, 
of regex test.pl, notice it's now rwx or 777 because we clicked on the execute permission. Navigate back to this properties and we'll change in the permissions tab from read and write. Well, we can drop execute, which will drop it instead of from to 777 to 666. Let's take a brief look at that. Now it's 666, 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2 for the owner, the group owner, as well as everyone else, which still is too excessive. If we want 400, we'll set the owner to read, which is 4, everyone else to none, as well as the group user none. And then, in the background, you'll see the permissions have been updated. Now, by the way, as mentioned before, we'll use the stat command. Whenever you change attributes of a file, stat will reveal or show you the updated attributes. If you compare it to the current timestamp, which is 1602, you'll see that the file was last accessed at 1602, but it was also changed at 1602. So any permissions or attribute changes to a file are recorded in the file system and are accessible using the stack command. You can always use it, whether accessing it as a function through Perl or directly from the shell as simply the stack command. Now there are other commands that allow you to change ownership, group ownership. For example, chown and change group. Let's navigate back to our shell or back to our gedit window and just introduce chown. Permits changing of ownership of files. And by files we also mean directories. For example, chown root regex tests dot pl changes ownership to the user root for this particular object. Let's give this a try. Now, we're going to do this first as the user of CBT, just to show you what happens when you try to change ownership to a user that you currently are not. So let's do so as Linux CBT. Well, who am I? LSLTR regex. It's set to 400. Now let's paste it. And notice, changing ownership not permitted, although we own the file. Let's take a look at it to see if it even changed it, and it hasn't. However, if you change ownership as the user root, it's a different story. No problems, no errors returned. Let's LSL, regex test.pl. You need the wrong format, and now the file is owned by root, which means if the user Linux CBT tries to modify the file, it'll fail. Let's try to modify, or even read the file. It fails. Root is now able to read the file, and Root is always able to read the file. So usually you change ownership as the user root. You can also use chown, and by the way you don't need to memorize any of the options, to change group information by delimiting the user and the group with a colon. So for example, an LSL of all the items in this directory show that they're owned with the exception of regex test.pl by the user Linux CBT and the group Linux CBT. What if we wanted this file to be owned by Linux CBT but by the group sales for which the user Linux CBT belongs? Well, let's go ahead and show you how we do that. Chown Linux CBT colon sales regex test.pl changes owner and group to Linux CBT sales, which means if you are a member of sales and have access to the test RH5 directory, you'll be able to interact the with the file providing the permissions that are associated with the group owner. So let's just double check that to see whether or not that's the case. Currently, no, it's set to 400. Nonetheless, we can still update group information and user information. Let's LSL again it. Now you see it's owned by the original owner of CBT and by the sales group. But there are no permissions in bits 4, 5, and 6 for the group sale, sales. So if you're logging on the system as a different user, you won't have rights to the file. So that'll be our next task using change mod. Update regex test.pl so that owner and group owners or owner may modify the file. To do so, we'll change mod instead of 
string literals, let's go ahead and indicate 6 for the owner, 6 for the group owner, and 0 for everyone else, regex test.pl. We'll navigate to the shell, follow that up with an LSL of regex test, and now we see the bits have been assigned for the owner, read write, and the group sales. So let's prove that this all works. As the user